we're coming up on the property. It'll be on the right side of the road. We're on Shannon County 421, about five miles out of Birch Tree. It's the middle of winter, so it's maybe not the prettiest setting for a video, but we were out here with the camera. So the property has direct frontage on the county road. It's on the right, as I said, and we'll be coming up uh, on a trail on the property. You can see some green ribbons there. Those are kind of temporary ribbons. Um, surveyors coming to, uh, to get everything squared away, but you can look at the aerial map to see how the property is situated. The ribbons are just marking some different distances along the road. I'll hop out here and then I'll hop back in in just a minute here. But you can see I'll, I'll look south down the road so the property's on the left. It's got several hundred feet of road frontage. And then we're obviously pulling onto the property right now. We're very close to a huge chunk of national forest. So you've got good national forest access within just a few miles in either direction. So there's the sign for Tract 7 at Pine Hollow. This is an existing trail that's been here, I'm sure, for decades. And like any existing trail, in the country, you'll find some little piles of garbage scattered here and there. Since this is a private trail on the property, you could put up a gate if you wanted to. Uh, you could certainly do that. Or maybe just a couple no trespassing signs. Now this trail crosses directly through the property onto a property uh, east of here. And uh, the gentleman that owns that, uh, we've let him use this trail because we don't have a problem with that you're welcome to keep doing that or like I said you can put up a gate so he, no one else has an easement to use this trail I'll stop here and just walk around for a minute and we'll have a look at this so you can see some of the timber here obviously where the trail came in uh, it's flat and then it rises up to the north and, and to the south. But you've got what looks like some really good timber on this property. Obviously good access. Um, you can get to the property in any kind of, kind of vehicle because it's a county maintained road. And uh, you can pull onto the property itself in any type of vehicle because it's level access. I'm looking here and I can see some signs of, looks like a small brush fire maybe a few years ago. It doesn't look like it hurt any of the mature timber. Usually brush fires don't. They just clean out the brush. So you'll see all different sizes of timber on this property. Um, I've been on this property once before and uh, there's some big mature oak trees. You'll find some pine trees. This is Pine Hollow. But predominantly you'll find hardwood trees you'll find oak and hickory and these are medium-sized trees here uh, but there are some big trees on this property as well a lot of good building sites super private i mean we're only a couple hundred feet off the county road but uh, i can't see the road no one can possibly see us even though it's winter time and there are no leaves on the trees uh, it's extremely private and once the leaves come out, you could be 50 feet off that county road and, and no one would ever see you. Amazing area for wildlife, for deer and turkey. They released elk not too far from here. Um, so there, there is a chance you'll see some elk around here as well. I never have, but other people have. <laughs> You're close to Birch Tree. Um, just down the road from Mountain View, which has the Walmart great place for a little 
secluded cabin or possibly a home or maybe just a campsite. Um, but awesome property. Very usable property and very close to the National Forest as well as to numerous rivers. We've got Jack's Fork River to the north, uh, the 11 Point River to the south. So if you fish or hunt or trail ride or anything, uh, you just won't run out of stuff to do out here. Nice property.